stepping into this lane where you're trying to tell journalists like Malika Andrews and others how they're supposed to do their jobs just ain't wise, my brother. Podcast. My name is Dale, and today we are talking about Stephen A. Smith doubling down in his defense of Malika Andrews and a bit of disrespect to Des Bryant. Check it out. And a warrant was issued for his arrest. Now, just to get the intel nuggets out of the way, Miller turned himself into the Glen Heights Police Department hours after the warrant was issued, and he immediately posted $5,000 bond and was released. Why am I bringing this subject up? Because recently, over the last few days, I had to address a subject involving Josh Giddy of the Oklahoma City Thunder of the National Basketball Association. So considering that and juxtaposing that to this story about Josh Giddy compared to Von Miller, I want to take a moment to explain to everyone the difference of why we, meaning people in the media, can discuss this matter and not the drama that is surrounding NBA player Josh Giddy. I showed him there. You saw his face. You see his face right now. He's been accused of messing around with an underage girl. But in his case, ladies and gentlemen, there's an investigation. The NBA isn't talking. He's not talking. The Oklahoma City Thunder, the NBA team he plays for, is not talking. The family nor the girl he's alleged to be involved with are talking. No one knows. So when that report comes out and there's an investigation and an allegation, that is all you could say. In the case of Von Miller, it's a different animal because Von Miller had a warrant out for his arrest. Law enforcement filed papers. Law enforcement forced and compelled him to turn himself in where he was ultimately able to post bond and depart. And now the National Football League is looking into it because they have something called the commissioner's exempt list where ultimately you can get yanked off the field and not allowed to play. So you see why we would be able to talk about that a bit more extensively than the conjecture that we would have to rely upon if we were talking about Josh Giddy. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I want you to understand there's a difference. And I want the players out there. I want the professional athletes, the former professional athletes like the Des Bryants of the world to take these notes. We might sit up there and judge what we're seeing. We might sit up there and even have the temerity, the unmitigated goal to tell you what we think you should have done based on your exploits and what you could bring to the table. But you know what we would never do? Go out onto the field and try to show you what the hell you should be doing. Y'all don't understand that's the equivalent of what y'all doing hopping on social media trying to tell journalists how to be journalists. You can't say everything. Every truth isn't made to be told prematurely. Sometimes you have to wait. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's all I was trying to say, Des. I don't want to disrespect you. I don't want to come at you the wrong way. Got too much respect and adulation for you. I just want you to know, stepping into this lane where you're trying to tell journalists like Malika Andrews and others how they're supposed to do their jobs, proclaiming that they did it one way for somebody without doing it some way for another, without having all of the information available to you, just ain't wise, my brother. It just ain't wise. Let us move on. Before right, so I get the first on time that they tried him out, or right, to defend Malika Andrews, I was like, all right, you know they're being paid, uh, whatever. The bosses told him to go and do that, but now he's sending the same exact message again to Des Bryant. This time he's being specific, saying that Des should not be trying to tell these journalists what to say because he's not a journalist and it's and it's equivalent to Stephen A going on the field and telling the players how to play 
All right. But number one, they do that all the time. They critique the players' play. And this is what they're supposed to be doing. This is why ESPN usually hires former players to talk about sports. All right. Somehow, over the years, you got some journalists in there, guys who have no athletic ability, critiquing NFL and NBA players. This is the reason why Richard Sherman got into that whole issue, that whole spat with Skip Bayless a few weeks ago because Skip Bayless was saying to him that he don't have no experience in the game, so he doesn't know what the correct thing, the correct play should have been done or the correct action that a player should have played. So, idealistically, what people want is players critiquing players on these shows that's what we wanted that's what was expected like what is the point of a journalist somebody who's never played being there and critiquing the actual players play it doesn't make sense all right and and another thing is that Stephen a these guys veer off into the personal matters but at the beginning of this whole thing it was only about the play all right Stephen a muddled this thing so much and not only Stephen a but Stephen a skip bayless and the likes they muddled up this thing so much that it's become maybe more about personal issues rather than playing so now you have somebody who can just talk on personal issues rather than being an expert at the actual game critiquing the players game but Steve, but here we have Stephen A saying that he can't go on the field and talk about somebody's play, but he could go on TV and talk about somebody's play. He can talk about Kwame Brown being a bust, not being able to play. Kwame Brown should be doing this or be doing that. Make somebody make this make sense because it doesn't make any sense at all. Secondly, all right, we need somebody without any bias to talk about the game right when you're talking about oh journalists like malika andrews shouldn't be told what to say or what not to say or yourself shouldn't be told what not to say look you explained yourself in your past argument that you can only say certain things and if you don't say certain things your boss all right is gonna say why are you working here so with that being said all right you have somebody controlling you a corporation espn you could this is his reason why he didn't mention anything before because he doesn't have the information all right he can't say certain things they'll be sued whatever whatever so we're not really getting his truth and his belief when he comes out here talking about the game and talking about issues related to the game because he has a boss. He has ESPN controlling him. All right? Then we have these YouTubers like Draymond Green and Pat Beverly, Paul George, who are NBA players and have friends in the game as well. And big sponsorships as well, who also can't speak 100% truth. So now we have YouTubers or we have somebody like Dez who's always been outspoken and didn't really care about nothing. And he's speaking the truth. And he's speaking what most of the fans believe. And Stephen A is trying to shut him up. Because Stephen A doesn't want the truth going out there. He doesn't want to breed more Des Bryant's, who is similar to Kwame Brown. He, they don't want this. this. This is their worst nightmare. I don't think they have much issue with Draymond Green. You know, even uh, Cam, Cameron and Mace. I don't think they have any issue with those guys either because they're not really attacking people like that and attacking like the the media like that. They're you know they're more out there for laughs and attacking some players that most people don't really like anyway. 
okay but Stephen a he doesn't want to see the truth get out there what the real what the real fans believe and that's what des bryant was putting out there and that's what youtubers who have no skin in the game who have nothing to lose or gain other than maybe like a youtube check all right and it's not affected by anything that, that we say all right these are the guys who are putting the real truth out there Gilbert Arenas is not giving you 100% truth neither is Stephen A Dreamers Pro is going to give it to you all right Des Bryant's going to give it to you because he don't care about nothing and that's what they're afraid of and that's why Stephen A is out here again but that day will come Stephen A all right when the tables are turned and the fans got the reins on this media and we can really get back to understanding the game and issues from a non-biased point of view. So until next time.